Today, I'm going to be building a park inside of Theme Park Tycoon 2, but every ride plot size is going to be randomly generated. These plots can range from a massive 50 by 50 range all the way down to the tiniest, which is a 3 by 3 range. I don't even know if some of these sizes are physically possible. On top of that, I'm going to have one hour to build this park, and if I go over that for any reason, I'm going to have to delete my oldest park inside of Theme Park Tycoon. But guys, before we get to any of that, make sure you are subscribed, as 95% of the people that watch this channel are not not actually subscribe if you anyone like the park tycoon you will not regret subscribing but anyways let's just get straight into it all right let's start this challenge in three two one timer starts now okay so we gotta generate our first number all right let's go ahead and generate our very first one generate okay 12 by 12 is our very first plot size for a roller coaster okay let's get to building this so um a 12 by 12 plot size honestly is a little small but we, let's go ahead and map this out so we get an actual idea for this i'm thinking we're gonna gonna use the wild mouse though because i have not used the wild mouse yet so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay i mean it's it's kind of decently large okay that's our first plot size i'm gonna actually like kind of move this a little bit but honestly actually i'll keep that there this is like something we can actually work with um so yeah we're gonna just build like a quick little wild mouse ride oh that that's getting close wait i don't like that wait i'm gonna like actually build a custom chain lift here i actually have not not built a wild mouse in this game so this is like the very first one i've like ever built oh wait this is going over here but I, I don't know if that really counts that's kind of out of my control but anyways how these rides work is they just whip you around tons of turns so it's just like yo we're gonna want to go this way because we don't want to you know okay boom and then we're gonna have it go down a little bit sharp left boom so yeah it really starts eventually picking up speed okay i think that's kind of cool now we're gonna make it kind of go into like an outwards turn right here we're kind of bank it just a tiny bit actually wait i'm gonna turn it back inwards a little bit more I, I honestly don't really know how to build these rides i've never really built one ever in this game okay so brakes now we're gonna turn and then i think it would be kind of cool if we just did a drop right here as these rides do have like actually pretty forceful little drops okay okay this is actually kind of like a pretty long wild mouse i'm not even gonna lie well uh this is actually kind of a cool one okay now i'm gonna take a little bit of inspiration from the brand new cedar point ride and uh I'm gonna just add some twists and turns to it. Oh, wait. I just realized we almost just went over there. Oh, my God. Okay, this is gonna really have to, like, head back. Because, uh, as you can see, we can't really get the brakes going from this direction, which is what I was planning. I was gonna, like, make a little turn here. We can't do that because there's this drop here. So, uh, I guess what we'll do is have it come back this way. And we'll really make it go around, like, I guess the border of this. And I think just a, a kind of a basic turn like that will work. Wait, why, why is this going? going under the world I, I i swear to god i just snapped that to grid what is going on here oh my god we've literally wasted 10 minutes just building this ride uh uh okay wait we gotta go a little bit more quicker with this okay that that's the ride boom first ride is now done this actually is kind of cool but now we have to build an entrance and an exit to this entrance here exit here path there and then we'll just build a path like this like this and then we'll connect more rides to this path as we continue to build actually i'm gonna make all this asphalt okay boom that looks great now we gotta like actually kind of theme this ride now uh, i really like this one wild mouse it's at europa park and it just looks amazing i'll probably have some photos on screen of what i'm exactly talking about but i really like the it has like a wilderness sort of cabin theme you know all right we're gonna build this right now get that and i'm honestly just gonna use primitives to build the station i i really haven't built with primitives in a minute so let's just get like a decent station going something like that then we'll move it right here we got to make sure there's no z fighting going on and then kind of like build it so it's like this this is not my best work okay guys you have to keep that in mind now uh we got to give this kind of like a log cabin vibe and also i gotta like do a little bit of like adjustments to this just here and there okay i'm gonna just put a roof on this the only reason why i built this with primitives is because there's a lot of textures that i really like on it especially in challenges i usually just build with like very basic materials because it's just easier i'm just gonna build like some basic like things out here i'll put a lantern on the inside so you know you can actually see in here and uh we've wasted 15 minutes okay we gotta really hurry this coaster up because we got a lot more to build all right just get like a basic thing throw down here oh oh no come on let me place it there we go okay we need like 
Wood. Wood. Yes, that is what I'm looking for. Now we gotta actually make this like wooden looking. Look at that. Very wooden, if I do have to say. Actually, I like the, the pavement texture, so I'm gonna go with that for the inside. But the outside could be a mixture of like normal wood and like different colors of wood. Kind of spruce it up a little bit. Because, you know, that that's definitely actually something a lot of people should know. Don't make everything like the same color. Just like touch it up a little bit. Because look, everything's the same color right now. But if we like get a darker tone and then we like kind of mix it into it. Actually, that's a little bit, you know, a little bit darker. Like it, it just looks more natural, you know? Like look at that. Boom. Let's do a little bit of theming in here because we can. And then let's get some fences as well because we probably should have some. All right. I spent, I've definitely spent way too much time making this ride. After this, we're going to speed run. I, ju I just really want to make like a cool little wild mouse. Okay. That's the ride. And we're going to put some bushes down. And I'm going to do something on the outside because it looks a little weird. But you know what? I don't care. We're going to have like this here. We're going to make it a little bit larger. And now let's grab ourselves some wooden poles. Okay. That is uh, the ride. And I'm gonna do one more thing to it. I'm gonna just go ahead and put some trees around here. If you never know what to build in this game, you build trees. That is a Malibu life hack for you. And then boom, that is the exit ramp. You know, in case of emergencies or something. All right, place some more trees. Dang, this one's actually a lot more smoother than I expected to be like totally honest. I'm gonna like place some trees out here because I feel like that's like kind of only fair, you know? Like th this is like not really a part of the ride. It's just like some theming around it to make it look better. Because we can't just have this, like, barren, you know? It's got to, like, be themed a little bit. Okay, let me just, like, finish this. And, uh, this ride is done. I I'm just going with that. I I'm actually kind of proud of this one. I'm just going to paint it, though, a little bit. So let's get some colors. I want, like, a brown co color scheme for the ride. So let's just apply that. Boom. Supports. Also, boom. Okay. Now we have, uh, we got 40 minutes, pretty much. First ride is done. This is actually a pretty cool first ride. But we got more rides to build. So let's see what our next plot size is gonna be i'm spamming it and the next one's gonna be 19 okay that that should be kind of easy but uh let's try to fit a ride with 19 in here look at that that is a pretty large plot so i'm thinking what we could do here is a dive coaster or a single rail coaster now i actually haven't built a single rail coaster in the game but i also haven't built a dive coaster which are two rides i definitely want to build um, all right, so I'm gonna place the cigarette coaster. We're gonna actually place this high because I have an idea for this. All right, I'm gonna start this ride off with a zero G roll, and I think it's really cool that rides that do that. Like, take a look at this. Whoa, dude, I really like when coasters do this because, like, the roller coaster like almost stalls out entirely. It's really cool. Like, Copperhead Strike at Carowinds. Oh my gosh, that ride looks crazy crazy we're gonna do like an interesting uh lift hill all right we're gonna start it off with like a little twist now i don't think this goes over it definitely looks like it does but it doesn't how about we start it with a zero g roll i think that would be kind of cool so the manufacturer that makes these single roll coasters they also have another model called the hybrid coaster a lot of really classic ones like steel vengeance and all that uh they, they basically do that and there's an element that is featured on a lot of them called a zero g stall or something like that I don't even know. It's like a, a drop uh, and it twists while you drop and it goes upside down. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. I do want to make this drop maybe just a little bit like steeper though. Okay, I think that's kind of an interesting first element. Now we're going to go back up this way. We're going to do like a kind of a neat little stall here. Or maybe we'll do like a turn up here. I think that would be kind of neat. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think a cool element on this would be like a corkscrew. Let's do a corkscrew somewhere. Let's do one like right here. Okay, I think that's kind of neat. Now we're going to have like a really tight turnaround. Dang, this is getting really close to the point it's actually kind of scary i'm really not trying to go over dude i really don't want to have to delete my first ever park in this game bro okay let's like we have a lot of space over here that we need to occupy so i think we're gonna like twist back actually we have it going that way though wait let's see let's see what we could do here okay let's do that i guess we could have it go this way and do something roll here that might be cool. I think we'll do that. But, um, yeah, we need to get this, like, kind of headed back to the station. So, uh, I'm just going to do, like, kind of, like, a weird little turd-ish thing. I think that'll work. That'll be the ride. That's actually not a bad ride, though. Like, I I'm not even going to lie. Okay, that that's it. Let's just test this to make sure everything's operating. And uh, I'm kind of going to speed the, the actual, like, track friction up. And I'm also going to go ahead and get to work on the next ride pretty quickly. Okay, I'm just going to start 
placing down trees and stuff because uh remember if you didn't never know what to place in this game place trees that is a malibu or quote bro that that is like the most important life hack you will learn in this game anything looks good with trees oh yeah we gotta really up that track friction i'm gonna like kind of work on the station as uh we do this so i'm gonna also delete all these oh my god we only got 27 minutes okay we we should still be able to build a few more cool roller coasters all right let's build this station i'm just gonna use mesh roof very basic station entrance here exit here okay we're gonna actually speed run this station guys you aren't even ready for this All right, let's get our uh, poles up, and then we are done. Okay, I'm gonna just, like, get some, like, trees around here just to make it look a little bit nicer. And then uh, we are gonna go ahead and start work on the next roller coaster. This is actually looking like a really cool park, though, to be, like, totally honest. Okay, that is done. Next roller coaster, let's get it! All right, I'm spamming the generate thing. Okay, four. We are gonna have to build a roller coaster in four spots. Oh, my God. I actually don't know if this is even possible. Okay, let's try this. Honestly, I might just go with the flat ride here. Let's see if any flat rides would fit in this spot. It has to be 4x4, four four, though. Um, 4x4? Four four. Oh, this is a 4x4. Four four. Oh, no, it goes out of bounds. What? What about this? Okay, this is technically a 4x4. Four four, so, I guess we'll just build this. I think this will actually be really cool because it'll give some interesting vantage points to the whole park. I also really like that in this challenge, we're not really constrained by money as in, like, the last one we did. Okay, our ride is done. I forgot the timer. Sorry about that. We're going to build an entrance and exit. So, the exit goes there. Entry goes here. Just a quick little cue path right here. Let me get some theming down. And, uh, just like that, boom, bada, bow. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, that ride is now done. And, uh, let's get to building the next one. Okay, since this park is actually getting big, we're going to have to, like, expand it down this way now. Let's see what Google's going to tell us. 14. That's what Google wants us to build a roller coaster at. Okay, 14. Let's do that. I think this one's going to be a hydraulic one because I like hydraulic coasters. It'll be interesting to see how we are going to be able to expand this. Like, it's going to be kind of a hard one, actually. I have an idea of how this is going to work. So, we are actually just going to build this corner to corner like this. Once we get to this corner, we're going to have a turn. And it's going to go all the way to the turn all the way over there I'll, I'll make sure it's like more aligned in a second but i just want to like get this place down okay that'll work all right let's get to place let's have our boosters all the way down here just like that and we are gonna go straight into a top hat we gotta be careful with this one because this is gonna have to be a very tight roller coaster i wish we got one with like a little more space like i'd love to build like a really tall roller coaster dang this is like actually really tight okay we're gonna place that let's just make sure nothing goes over okay it doesn't look like it this is the weirdest top hat ever made i think i can pretty easily claim that award okay um i'm not really sure what to do next here because that is tight like this is actually really tight okay i guess we'll turn it again we'll have it head back where it came from dang this is actually gonna be a pretty hard coaster to make in that small of a spot i didn't really think about this logistically okay i guess this that, that'll work i guess we gotta make it go upwards now i guess we'll have just very tall elements you know like We'll probably, let's do like a half loop right here. Oh my god, we only got 14 minutes. I really want to build another coaster too. Oh wait, my, my timer didn't show. Whoops. Let's have it go this way. That actually isn't looking horrible. It, it does look pretty bad. But God, hear me out, hear me out guys. Wait, is that gonna, did that go over? Okay, no it didn't. Oh, I thought that did. That could have been bad. I can't place the next track piece though because it, it would have went over. I'm gonna like kind of like turn it like this now. And we're gonna just have it go this way. And then I think we'll just have it head straight into some breaks. But we gotta get it around this little part. I actually don't know how we're gonna do that. This is very janky. Definitely the most janky hydraulic coaster I've ever made. Th this coaster could definitely claim that award pretty easily. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually have it go forward like this into some breaks oh no wait how are we gonna do this wait okay this is gonna have to be very uh weird looking okay you guys are gonna just have to hear me out again okay we're gonna go with this very tight everything about this coaster is so freaking cramped oh my god this coaster could actually make me fail this challenge okay perfect that that actually worked that actually works there, there shouldn't be any collision issues with that that will work i am just gonna live with that all right let's just build like a really quick station because we just don't have time wait we really gotta like okay wait, wait, wait. we gotta do a few things this ride boost speed we gotta make it like 300 so it goes over that top hat all right entrance exit oh god we are actually at 11 minutes now and then let's just like get this path going back this way this is a very trash station but 
Honestly, we just don't have the time to make something gorgeous, you know? Let me grab some more of these frames. I'm gonna make it just look a tiny bit nice. We gotta decorate it just a little bit. I think I'm gonna, like, just make something like that. We'll have it go down here. And then we're gonna go like that. Oh, that, that actually looks kind of dope. I'm gonna be real here. I was just gotta, like, place these things down. This actually looks good. Okay, wait. We're gonna put that there. Then I'm gonna use these beams to kind of, like, make it fill in the gap right here. And then we'll get some poles. I think just something basic will work. And then we could, like, actually just get, like, a tiny little roof right here for the actual ride itself. I think that doesn't look bad, okay? I don't think that's horrible. Could be a lot worse. Now, uh, let's get some trees down. Just like that. Place them around the place. And then we can actually start working on our next ride. Oh, th this is actually a really cool ride. Like, I'm not even gonna lie here. I think I did a pretty good job on this. Okay, I think the one thing that doesn't even change is the brakes. Brakes do need to go up a little bit. Oh my god, we have eight minutes. Okay, we gotta, like, actually, like... Uh, next ride. We are literally just running to the next ride now. I mean, I don't know if we'll have time to do one more. I, this could actually be where we fail the challenge. All right, we, this next one better be small. If it's not small, we're screwed. Like, if this is not under, like... 20 we're screwed let's generate it 14 again okay i i think we can do that i think we can do that let's just go back this way we're gonna build a new path it's gonna go over this way okay it's gonna have to be a little bit of a, a clutch here we got eight minutes i guess we could do like a log ride those are very easy to make i, I actually we're gonna do a log ride yeah that's perfect okay okay First drop right here. Then we're gonna have it go one more. Hopefully, this is enough for the drop and then, like, the actual turn. That doesn't go over, so we're just... We, we gotta roll with that. We gotta roll with that. This ride is just weird. I'm sorry. Okay, we got five minutes to decorate this ride now. All right, let's get some trees back here. And I actually do want to, like try something to make this look a little bit nicer so as you can tell these flumes don't look as nice as they could something i usually do with this is uh if you get like one of these rides and then, like you angle it just right it looks perfect see what i mean like that just looks awesome this station's gonna be such a clutch man oh my god this whole park has been such a clutch oh my god are we gonna fail this challenge okay uh place that place this okay and then now we need to get a mesh roof place it like right here I think that'll look fine. Oh, God, wait. Fix that. Default. Okay. Then just wrap it like that. And then I just want a basic roof on this one. Oh, my God. Dude, two minutes. Oh, my God. Dude, we're not even close to finishing this station. Let's just get this wrapped, like, right there. Oh, my God. One minute, 59. Dude, I don't think we're going to do this in time. There's still a lot to do. We got to do poles. Oh, my God. One minute, 45. I really wanted to, like, put more trees down and stuff. This sucks. Oh my god, please stop glitching out. Thank you. Dude, we are trying to clutch this. We are trying to clutch this. A minute 17. Okay, wait. Actually, once we get this pull and we do some painting, I think we're good on the station. Let's just do some basic painting. Let's get that. And then there. And then now on the back side, we got to go ahead and do some more. Just like that. And then we can actually do that to make it look a little nicer. And then, okay. Um, let's just get some trees down. We actually need to just spam trees. Okay, guys, I've done, like, a few adjustments off camera only because I've actually wanted to open all these rides to the public. So, you know, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna give it, like, five minutes, and then we'll come back to this. All right, gamers, it has been about five minutes, and we are back. And, uh, a lot of people right now are exploring this part of the park. Now, I have a money farm, so not everybody's gonna be walking up and about around here. But I see people on the rides here. So, uh, I think we should just go check some of these out. And, uh, honestly, I did a great job on this challenge i'm i'm very shocked at how this turned out it like it actually turned out absolutely amazing and we had so many rides built like we had one two three roller coasters a log ride and even a drop tower like in one hour all themed all of it like done I i'm very impressed and we did a lot in this video but uh let's get to riding some of these so i think the one i want to ride first is this little wild mouse and honestly this is like the first wild mouse i built in the game and i am a little bit shocked that it kind of turned out really well so uh let's ride this um this looks very uh wild mousey i i do like i can see people on the log ride and stuff but let's ride this now this is actually the new wild mouse in the game and i gotta say it's actually very nice looking look at this very very cool now i think this ride was made in a 12 by 12 plot uh, which is kind of not that shocking. These, this ride could actually fit in a way smaller plot, but still. Oh, look at this. Y you know what this train reminds me of? It reminds me of that ride from the SpongeBob, like uh, an episode of SpongeBob, where they were at Glove World. I probably got a photo on screen. Oh, God. Okay, here we go down the big drop. Oh, oh my God. Oh, uh, collision issue. Don't, don't mind that. Don't mind that. You didn't see that. Oh, here we go down the second drop. 
And then we got a third final little drop here as we twist and turn into the brakes. I gotta say, it's actually a pretty solid ride other than that one little collision issue. I, I it's actually, I love the, the station for this. It, it looks very nice, but I think I want to get on to our next roller coaster. Actually, do we even want to do the next roller coaster? We can go do the, the log ride real quick, which would be pretty cool. It definitely looks very uh, scenic and pretty. And the station actually turned out really nice, I, I gotta say. As we freaking rushed that, we had three minutes to complete that station. And uh, I gotta say, it's basic. It's not like, you know, stealth dynamics, but I mean, it's definitely pretty decent. Okay, so here we go on board our log ride. Okay, here we go. We're going up the, the first drop. Oh my god, this is very scary. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, splash. Very cool. And now we are going up the next lift hill. We got one big drop ahead of us. I like the what I did with the little water thing here. I think it turned out nice. Oh, okay. That was kind of sharp. And we are going to ride the next one, which is the hydraulic launch coaster. And uh, this one also turned out really cool. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. This is actually kind of cool. I actually love how, like, this roller coaster has, like, this cable thing down here. I, I kind of showcased that. But it, it like moves and everything. It's like how the actual real life hydraulic coasters work. Oh, that, that's pretty fast. Oh, whoa. Big twisty twist. That is actually a surprisingly smooth roller coaster. I gotta say. Bro, with our plot size, I actually thought it could work. I Then I thought it didn't. But this actually works really, really well. I'm pretty proud of that one. I, I think that one's pretty cool. By the way, give me names for these different rides. What would you name these ones? Because, uh, I don't know. I, I gotta name them, man. And then now we have our single rail coaster. So let's ride this one. Oh, God. It's leaving without us. Let me on board, Kendrick Lamar. Okay, we are on board. Right into our first little part. And then now we are going up the lift hill. Oh boy, this is very cool. I, I changed the colors off camera because I just really didn't like that orange, but th this actually is really, really cool. Th these rides are actually pretty awesome. Wait, I just realized, did I build this with the, ba I built it with the basic single rail coaster. I didn't even build it with the new one. I'm kind of dumb. I, I didn't even realize that. It's kind of funny to be honest. The new single rail coaster is so much better in every way, shape or form. That That's actually hilarious. Oh. Very cool though, absolutely smooth roller coaster, and uh, I like it because it, it takes that, like these long drawn inversions. It is just very smooth and nice. But um, yeah, that that's pretty epic. And we also have this drop tower, but I don't really feel like riding it. But that has pretty much been all of the rides in this park that we have made in an hour. And I gotta say, this turned out absolutely awesome. If you guys think I did good on this challenge, let me know down below. But gamers, I think this is gonna be where we wrap up today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.